All right. Hello, this is Seth again. We're looking at this property at 1668 Trotter's Bend Trail, Jacksonville, Florida, 32225, just off of North Kernan Boulevard um, in East Arlington. I'll try to get a walk through here and try to keep it under uh, five minutes for you. So we'll run through. So a nice house, it's got a brick on the front. And these pictures may be kind of dark because uh, there's no power on in the house at the time at the moment. This is the entryway. It's got crown molding, wainscoting with a chair rail. There's a closet, coat closet, large coat closet. If you go over to the right here, we've got what would be considered either a master or a uh, formal living room with a ceiling fan, or it could be an office space. Then we've got here the formal dining room. You can see the crown molding, which leads into the family room with the stone wood burning fireplace, vaulted ceilings, and outlooking the pond on the back. To the right, we go into the large eat in kitchen. Let's see here. We've got uh, dishwasher, range, refrigerator, lots of cabinets, lots of counter space. And if I swivel around, you can see there's the eat-in kitchen space with the lighting above it. Um, looking out your window in the kitchen, I don't know if this will be able to see it, but uh, there's the pond out there. We'll get a better view of that in just a minute. Moving on, going back through the family room with the fireplace. Down through this hallway, we've got a closet here. Um, I think that's for the air handler. This right here is, I don't know if we'll be able to see, a washer and dryer um, right next to all the bedrooms in the uh, bath. First right, master bedroom. It's a large master bedroom with a walk-in closet, ceiling fan. It's got the uh, border wallpaper. I don't know if we'll be able to see in here. Here's a walk-in closet coming back out. Um, this is the master bath. Um, we can see that there. And there's a commode and the tub and shower and a nice half moon window. Heading back out of the master bath into the master bedroom. Then we've also got three bedrooms over here. There's one bedroom. Ceiling fan. Um, I guess this would be a great girls room, pink. It's got a little cubby over here. Uh, be perfect size for a desk or a TV stand or a computer stand. Going on now to the third bedroom. This is uh, also has a ceiling fan. These are all good size rooms. I think they're 10 by 12. And the master bedroom is um, uh, 15 by 15 or 12 by 15. And here's the final and fourth bedroom, as you can see. Plenty of room. They all have the closets, ceiling fans. And for the second bathroom, it's right off of all of these. Since there's no power, I just have a flashlight in here sticking up. We can see it's got the, looks like parquet floor. Um, the lighting and the bathtub. Bathtub has a uh, different molding or tile on the bottom. Looks like a foot and a half. So that's a tour of the inside. I'm trying to keep this under five minutes. Let's go back through and take a look out back. This property is on a over a full acre. You've got your patio out here, covered patio. And as you can see, this pond goes from that group of shrubs with the dead branches all the way over there is on your land here. Since this is on the end of a cul-de-sac, it's actually a wedge shape, pie shape. So it goes, the property you own on, with this house goes across to the other side of this pond, which is really nice. We'll take a look around the back of the house. Exterior of the house has vinyl siding. Um, just needs to be cleaned up. Looks like it's got some little bit of stain and mold, but uh, some bleach or a pressure washer will take care of that. It has a 
sprinkler system right there, shallow well with a pump. And here's the shed, a uh, real nice shed, sturdy shed, not um, a flimsy one. It's pro-built, I believe, and the, it's got this big door on it. I'll open it up real quick. I believe it's like 10 by 10 or 9 by 9. Take a look inside the shed. Great place to store tools, lawn equipment, kids' bikes. So that wraps it up. If you have any questions or need any information about this, give me a call at 904-302-6100. And again, my name is Seth. Bye-bye.